What up guys? So in this video I'm going to quickly and efficiently show you how to swiftly change your Puffco Peak Atomizer and get that bitch red hot and chalky. So let's go. Step number one. Break your Puffco Peak Atomizer. Break it. Broke it. Step two. Put broken atomizer in glass and get isopropyl alcohol. Step number four, you want to dry your casing. Personally, I use a heat gun to dry mine, but you can always just let it air dry. Not, but it's okay because I have to Mind you, the shit is still hot water, so be careful. Okay. Scoop. Scoop. Now, we'll get some uh, tickets. Okay. Okay. Clean what you can. Next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to take this and we're going to want to have these big legs facing down with the little legs facing up. Step number seven is salvaging what you can from the last piece of parts. So from this we can reuse this, can't reuse that, that's garbage, garbage. We can reuse the grommet, firing pin, brass firing pin, and the casing. I would recommend doing some fine cleaning on the inside of all this, um, just as a precautionary measure. Step number eight, you're gonna want to take your new atomizer and you want to slide the base onto it. So I have to slide the base on, which might take some jiggling, as it is right here. Get this. Come on, come on. It's going. I want to be somewhat gentle. Last thing you want is to break one of these. Come on, yep, okay. Right until it touches like it's a sandwich. And then what you want is that you want to bend wires in. see right there, ladies and gentlemen, there's like a, a teepee formed at the top there. From there, we will be moving on to the jig. And as you can see, we've moved on to the jig with the um, teepee formation. Kind of looks like antennas. Um, we are going to want to then insert the, uh, the casing. You want to have these wires fed through mm. the same way, so you kind of want to... So close. Yep, there we go. Okay. So, that's snug in there. Let's line this back up, put this down. Next thing you want to do is um, bend the wire. So you want one of these wires, doesn't matter which one, to um, 
land on the outside. We'll get, zoom in as well as I can. And you're gonna want to bend this wire outside, but you want it to touch the outside. So you want you want it still connected to this outer ring that kind of is pushed up. After that, you're going to want to put your grommet back on. As you can see, you got one on the inside and one on the outside. Better focus. After that, it comes down to putting in the firing pin and cutting the wire. The last and most stressful part is the snipping. So what you want to do is first put your pin in. It really doesn't matter, but I recommend putting the pin in first. That makes sure you get as close as you can to cutting and snipping as possible. So. There, you want to snip, and then you want to snip. Ta da! Let's check if it works. Now, I ran into a little issue. And that happens sometimes, nothing to freak out about. But what you want to do is make sure that that outside coil is touching the atomizer casing. If not, you're going to have the same problem that I had. It's nothing to freak out about. You have the world end over. It's just what it is, and that's how you solve it. So just tinker, tinker until it's right. Um, that's the best advice I can give folks. But I did in the end get this working and we will see the puff clouds short. Now whenever you change your atomizer, I recommend running it on white, hot, and just sizzling it to get anything off. I don't know if there is, I don't know if there isn't, but it is always just good to make sure. Now, for this last scene, using some Yoda OG on a blue setting because we don't need high heat. So we're trying to get flavor. And I'd like to next time guys leave a comment below if you need some more help put a comment there I'll do what I can to respond um, we have some more videos like this coming up soon so don't touch your face this video was made possible by mr. bonsai without him I'd be going to puff coil step number six we want to disassemble oh still hot